Okay, everybody. Hey, seniors. We're back. Where am I looking? There it is. Um, my voice is a little sauce, so you'll have to forgive me. What a week. Whoa. Right after I <clears throat> did volume one, I got the corona and was really, really sick. And it, it is true. Coronavirus exists, in case you were wondering. I uh, got a fever. Had a fever for like six days. That sucked. Had trouble walking from my bed to my couch, which, if you know me, usually have a lot of energy, so it was tough. But we've made it through to the other side. I have a little residual, <clears throat> you know, <clears throat> crap in my throat. So I'm not going to be the best singer today, but I thought we got to get back into this somehow, at some point. I can't wait forever. So I put on my Beatles shirt. And we're ready to go. We're ready to do Beatles Volume 2. Beatles Volume 2. Interesting thing about the coronavirus you might want to know is that you can't smell or taste anything. So, interestingly, Molly said to me today, because she has it too, but she doesn't have any symptoms. I was a lucky one that got the symptoms. She said to me, you know, we should have really been eating healthy this whole time. We can't taste anything anyway. I thought, well, that would have been smart. I've been eating ice cream every night instead. Whoops. I guess because it still made me feel good, you know what I mean? Sometimes you just, even though you can't taste it, you know that it's making you feel good. Well, anyway, today we're going to do the Beatles Part 2, and we're going to do Blackbird, one of my favorite, favorite songs. Um, so I'm going to start with this one and teach it to you first. Do you know it? Let me sing a little. Blackbird singing in the dead of night. Take these broken wings and learn to fly. All your life, you were only waiting for this moment to arrive. So that's basically a lot of the song, if you don't know it. <clears throat> so I'm going to start again at the beginning. Blackbird singing in the dead of night. Take these broken wings and learn to fly. All your life, you were only waiting for this moment to arise. I think you probably have that by now. But just in case, let's do it one more time and then we're going to move on. So we're starting at the beginning and we're going to move on to the next part. Here it is. Everybody would go. Blackbird singing in the dead of night. Take these broken wings and learn to fly. Sunken eyes and learn to see. Yeah, I know my eyes look bad. All your life, you were only waiting for this moment to be free. My eyes are so sunken in, I don't know if you can tell. And I have been sleeping so much. You know, the first day I got the Rona, I probably slept 20 hours. It was crazy. Crazy. And I woke up like I hadn't even slept at all. Went right back to bed. So this this lyric is really resonating with me right now. These sunken eyes. Oof. Please, take them. Help me to learn to see. All right, so now we just did the verse one and verse two, and we get to the chorus, which is perhaps the most ingenious thing ever written. So we just did free, and then we do... Into the light of the 
dark black night. And you get to do this cool kind of jazzy thing. Into the light of a dark black night. You know me, I never say the right words, so I probably said something wrong, sorry. Into the light of a dark black night. So you hear this chord. Into the light of a dark black night. So wait to hear this first, and then you go with the into the. Into the light of the dark black night. So our bridge is blackbird. together. Are you ready? From the beginning. From the beginning. Let me get some uh, better sounds going on. Okay. Here we go. Oh, 
moments to arise. Okay, so one of the most iconic Beatles songs I know is Eleanor Rigby. This one has a ton of words, and I'm probably going to screw them up, and maybe you will too. So good luck. Hey, one of the most interesting things about Eleanor Rigby is that it talks about, um, you know, uh, in, a, in the church where her wedding has been, and there's the gravestone, and no one's listening to the, the priest, blah, 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 blah. Um, apparently, all that is just coincidental writing. The fact that there is a church in Liverpool where in the graveyard there is an Eleanor Rigby grave. Um, the song apparently was written not about those things. So says the guy that I went on a tour with. So there you go. Kind of interesting. Um, the part of this song that I think everybody kind of has as an earwig is this part that goes... that coincides with the music of the voice that goes like this. That part, okay? Let's do that part one more time because it's going to come up, uh, up quite a bit. So here's the tune. and minor and then it happens again so everybody together are you ready a one two here we go We started to all the verses, all the words, all that kind of stuff. And it goes, Eleanor Rigby picks up the rice in the church where her wedding has been. Lives in a dream, waits at the window, wearing the face that she keeps in a jar by the door. Who is it for? All the lonely people. Where do So that's like a verse and the chorus part. So because there's a thousand verses, we're not going to practice that again. We're just going to keep going. Verse two, Father Mackenzie, a one nice Irish priest, huh? I don't know. That's like what I grew up with. One, two, here we go. Father Mackenzie, writing the words of a sermon that no one will hear. No one comes near. Look at him working. Darning his socks in the night when there's nobody there. What does he care? All the lonely people. Where do they all come from? All the lonely people. Where do they all belong? Okay, verse 3. We're almost there. We're back to Eleanor. Eleanor Rigby died in the church where was buried along with her name. Nobody came, Father Mackenzie, wiping the dirt from his hands as he walks from the grave. No one was saved, all the lonely people. Where do they all come from? Straightforward song. Okay, so 
I don't know why, but it's reminding me right in this moment of company. And another hundred people just got off of the train. There's no reason for that, I suppose, but that's what I that's what I was reminded of. Okay, so we're gonna do Eleanor Rigby from beginning to the end. Eleanor Rigby. Mm. And one thing I'll show you is some pictures. So check out here is the churchyard. Here's that picture. And here is the gravestone of Eleanor Rigby. And let's see, I think that's it for the Eleanor Rigby song. So, beginning. Uh... to teach you this song because it's not very singable but I just was playing through it and it's fun I like it so hello goodbye hello goodbye hello goodbye this one <laughs> is more rocky but I think it's fun <laughs> So it goes, you say yes, I say no, you say stop, and I say go, go, go. Oh, oh, oh. you say goodbye, and I say hello. So that's kind of the tune. Did you catch it? Let's go one more time from the beginning. You say yes, I say no. You say stop, and I say go, go, go. Where? Oh no. You say.
say goodbye, and I say hello, and then it goes, hello, hello. I don't know why you say goodbye, I say hello. Hello, hello. I don't know why you say goodbye, I say hello. And then we get to the verse, and it goes, I say hi. You say low, you say why, and I say I don't know. Oh no, you say goodbye, and I say hello, and then we get the hello, hello. I don't know why you say goodbye, I say hello, and it happens again, hello, hello. I don't know why you say goodbye, I say hello. Then there's this little bridge part that goes. So it goes, why, 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 why do you say goodbye, goodbye? So, why, 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 why do you say goodbye, goodbye? That's another part. And that's pretty much the whole song. All right, so this one I'm not going to teach you a lot because I don't think there's much to teach. Maybe not a very good singing song. But hey, what the heck? Let's just have a little fun with this. You say yes from the beginning to the end, okay? Give it a shot. If you hate it, it's going to be done in like a minute and a half.
So another place that we visited on our Liverpool tour was Penny Lane. And this was a cool song to experience on Penny Lane because so much of it is about what you see as you're kind of walking down this lane because uh, the Beatles would walk to and from school and all different types of uh, places down Penny Lane. So I thought this would be a fun one to do. <clears throat> also a lot of words, so. But anyway, it's, it's pretty easy. <laughs> first part a little bit slower than how it will go when we sing it. It goes, Penny Lane, there is a barber showing photographs of every head he's had the privilege to have known. Pleasure, excuse me. And all the people that come and go, stop and say hello. Pretty easy. Next part sounds the same. On the corner is a banker with a motor car. The little children laugh at him behind his back. And the banker never wears a Mac in the pouring rain. Very strange. Then tune for the chorus. Penny Lane is in my ears and in my eyes. suburban skies I sit and meanwhile back in Penny Lane there is a fireman and blah 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 okay that's how it works we go back and forth between the tune of Penny Lane is in my ears and in my eyes do that part right now Penny Lane is in my ears and in my eyes get back to the verse. In Penny Lane there is a fireman with hourglass, and in his pocket is a portrait of the Queen. He likes to keep his fire engine clean. It's a clean machine. More verse. Verse, chorus, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, verse. So very easy form of the song. Uh, let's go from the beginning and see how we can do. I think we got this one. All right. From the beginning, a one, a two, and go. Penny Lane, there is a barber showing photographs of every head he's had the privilege. Oh, I did it again. I said privilege. I mean, I guess that makes sense, but it's pleasure. Pleasure to have known. Let's do it again. Penny Lane, there is a barber showing photographs Of every hand he's had the pleasure to have known And all the people that come and go Stop and say hello On the corner is a banker with a motor car The little children laugh at him behind his back And the banker never wears a Mac in the pouring rain, very strange. Penny Lane is in my ears and in my eyes. There beneath the blue suburban skies, I sit and meanwhile back. In Penny Lane, there is a fireman with an hourglass. And in his pocket is a portrait of the Queen. He likes to keep his fire engine clean. It's a clean machine. And now we have a very long instrumental break. Blah, 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 blah. To the chorus, yay! Penny Lane is in my ears and in my eyes. back 
behind the shelter in the middle of a roundabout. The pretty nurse is selling poppies from a tray, although she feels as she's in a play, she is anyway. Penny Lane, the barber shaves another customer. We see the banker sitting waiting for a trim. Back in Penny Lane is in my ears and in my eyes. There beneath a blue suburban skies, Penny Lane. That's it. So it was in NOLA, we were in a bar, I think it was Pat Hurricane's, I want to say, and there was a piano bar player, and our st one of our standard uh, songs that Molly and I will request is a Beatles tune called Obladi Oblada, which seems kind of appropriate for today's climate. Obladi Oblada, life goes on. Na 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 na, life goes on is the chorus. Do you know this tune? Um, it goes like this, the chorus part. So it goes, Oh, blah, dee, oh, blah, da, life goes on. La, 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 life goes on. It's kind of nice. Um, it's got this cool little part to... part of it. Um, so let's just do that one time through. Would you do that with me? A one, two, go. Oh la dee, oh la da, life goes on. So that's the chorus part. And in the beginning, we get a verse. Right off the bat, boom, big verse, lots going on. Desmond is the dude, and Molly is the wife, I guess. So, starts off like this. And then we get this part that goes, Desmond has a barrel in the marketplace. Molly is the singer in a band. Molly girl, I like your face And Molly says this as she takes him by the hand Oh la dee, oh la da, life goes on La 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 la, la life goes on Oh la dee, oh la da, life goes on La 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 la, life goes on And then we get another verse and we come back and we hear Desmond takes a trolley to the jeweler's store Buys a 20 carat diamond ring Takes it back to Molly waiting at the door And as he gives it to her she begins to sing Oh blah dee, oh blah da, life goes on La 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 la, life goes on Oh blah dee, oh blah da, life goes on So that's the whole first bit of the song. Then we get the bridge. The bridge is pretty cool. It goes like this. And we find out about their life. L life. Their life in, <laughs> in the bridge part. In a couple of years, they have built a home sweet home. With a couple of kids running in the yard. Desmond lets 
the children lend a hand. Molly stays at home and does her pretty face, and in the evening she still sings it with the band. Oh, bloody, oh, blada, life goes on. repeat it one more time and we go back to in a couple of years they have built a home sweet home with a couple of kids running in the yard of Desmond and Molly Jones ha, ha, ha. happy ever after in the marketplace Molly lets the children lend the hand Desmond stays at home and does his critique with the band. Oh, bloody, oh, bloody, life goes on. Oh, la, 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 life goes on. Oh, bloody, oh, bloody, life goes on. Oh, la, 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 life goes on. And if you want some fun, sing Oh, bloody, blah, da. And that's it. That's the whole tune. It's kind of fun. I like it. Do you like it? Let's just sing that chorus one more time. What do you think? That's the best part of the song anyway. Ready? Go. Now. Oh, bloody, oh, blah, da, life goes on. La, 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 life goes on. Oh, bloody, oh, blah, da, life goes on. All right, well, we're getting ready to wrap up the Beatles tour. Uh, next stop will be a different band. And I thought we can't do the Beatles and finish off without doing Yesterday. <laughs> sad right now but sometimes you know what that's what music is you got to kind of use it to emote through different things so here we go let's sing this song um beginning one more time will you do it with me here we go breathe and yesterday Thank you. 
Good tune. Good tune.